Hi guys, that was my 3D printed USB powered mini portable vacuum cleaner. Let's get started on Make It Matte. So this is a four main piece uh, 3D printed design. Um, here is the first one, it's the front. Over here we have the motor housing, over here the exhaust for the air, and the switch housing right here. Um, and then this is a fifth one if you want to call it the filter. Um, you could use a sponge if you wanted, but I uh, printed mine and I made this filter customizable so if you want you can make it uh, finer or not so fine just by changing the settings of Cura. Um, so what you'll do is you'll go into your support settings and change the percentage you want and that will increase or decrease the size. Um, so that's that. The USB thing, the USB uh, cord I got from a uh, computer keyboard. That. The switch I just found lying around, and yeah, that's good. okay. So the motor for this is sorry, some things are moving around. The motor for this is a drone motor, actually. That's what I use. Um, I think you can get them fairly cheap, at a dollar each. I think it's, I got mine like four for eight bucks or something, four for five bucks. I can't remember. It wasn't more than ten. Um, so yeah, I use that, and then as you can see right now, I'm using a drone propeller. Uh, you don't have to use a drone propeller. I did test it out originally with 3D printed propellers, and they worked almost as well as this drone propeller, but they weren't quite there. So I did use the drone, but I'm sure if you like sand this, at least I'm pretty sure if you sand this. And be optimized that you'd work just as well as this drone propeller. Um, so this was printed in PLA on my AMAT A8. Um, I designed Fusion 360 in case you're wondering. Okay, so the parts uh, are held together by using super glue and I soldered wires together. That was fairly simple. Yeah. So, you might be wondering, why did I design this? So, I designed this because when you're 3D printing, you'll find that you have a lot of times you have to purge material. That's when you change the color of the filament or the type of filament. Um, you have a little bit of filament. That just is just annoying. You have them all over around your printer space. And yeah, so I need some way to clean that up nicely. And also, I was using glue sticks. And when you strip it off, it leaves shards of uh, glue stick. So I didn't want that, and it was hard to pick up. So I thought, why not make a vacuum cleaner? Um, and this vacuum cleaner could probably also be used very nicely in a car because it's small, it could fit in your glove, glove compartment. Um, and you probably have USB ports in your car or your computer. If you spill some crumbs over there, just plug it in, turn it on, and away you go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't seen my other videos, go check them out. You might be interested in them. They're also about something I 3D printed and designed. Um, maybe consider, consider subscribing. Um, and the files for this vacuum cleaner will be on Thingiverse as soon as possible. Just, it all depends when I get around to it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.